like the last lifeboat leaving the RMS Titanic. The pushing, the shoving, the screaming, the chaos. Captain Rick Thornton got up on September 11, 2001 for his regular shift at the New York Waterway Ferry to bring commuters from Weehawken, New Jersey to Midtown Manhattan. When the first plane struck the Twin Towers, he thought it was a tragic accident until the second plane hit and he sprung into action without asking anyone for permission. Don't tell the boss this, but I was supposed to be doing, continuing my shift up here until about 10 o'clock. Pulled a 180, raced down to uh, the World Trade Center area. I didn't call anybody, so sorry about that, but you know, your instincts kick in. He ended up making 20 trips across the Hudson River, rescuing as many people as possible. People having heart attacks, people covered in smoke and dust and blood from every dock, every pier, whether it was a ferry dock or not. We just started seeing people along the waterfront and started getting them out. The capacity of his boat was good for 399 people. They said, hey, Cap, we're at 399. And I said, well, just stop counting. There's plenty of room. Who is going to say, oh, we can't fit any more people? These people are certainly going to die if we don't get them on the boat. Because the bridges, tunnels, and mass transit shut down, the only way out was by walking or by water. The New York Waterway fleet, made up of about two dozen ferries, helped evacuate about 150,000 people on 9-11. It was part of a massive effort between the U.S. Coast Guard, merchant ships, private vessels, and NYPD and FDNY boats, which in total helped rescue 500,000 survivors, the largest maritime rescue in history, bigger than Dunkirk. With 32 years on the job, Captain Thornton is still working and is recognized often. I get people who say, hey, I remember you from 9-11, or you pulled me out of the water because there was people actually jumping into the water.